on the inside is the European bronze medalist, Ditaji Kambunji. As we know, runs well from the outer lanes. Herska now moving well and Bapte coming into contention. Kambunji right on the inside. Keep your eye on her as well. Herska in the centre. Ditaji Kambunji coming through there to take it from lane one. It's Kambunji from the flanks yet again. 12.80. Just outside her season's best. It doesn't matter what lane you put Ditaji Kambunji in, she can win from anywhere. Ludwig Vion, who finished fourth behind CJ Allen. The fastest time in the world this year is a sub 48 run by Rai Benjamin. Around the bend they come. Vion now, but Master has regained his composure, just reaching for that one ever so slightly. Vion, the Frenchman on the inside, but Master, Rosser looking to come between the two as they straighten up for home. Lahulu in fourth of Algeria. In the air together over the penultimate barrier. Kyra McMaster in the blue. On his inside, the challenge will come from Ludwig Vion over the closing stages. Vion dipping in for the line and gets it in the air. 48.52 from McMaster. Me, Vion, there. He got it really, really right. You'd say lane four isn't ideal uh, for four hurdling, but when you've got Khalifa Rosser and Kyra McMaster to aim at, to pace yourself against, I think that was perfect for Ludwig Vion. And World champion Brooke Anderson, round two of the hammer after a foul in round one. She's having a terrific season, including going over 80 metres for the first time. And that one has gone out over 75 metres. The lead has been held by Cameron Rogers from round one of 76-21 and 76-45 from Anderson in round two. Her first legal through and takes the lead. Benjamin Robert went for the win in front of the home crowd in Paris on Friday night, paid for it ever so slightly in the closing stages to reward it, rewarded with a massive personal best of 143.48. Zeradsky on the outside do his best to smoothly get ahead of this field. Benjamin Robert, as he tired from Friday night, it was a mammoth effort he put in the Châtelet Stadium in Paris, but Benjamin Robert, he's close. Clayton Murphy's just starting to tie up ever so slightly. Here goes Benjamin Robert, Andreas Klamer finishing fast as well, but Benjamin Robert, the Frenchman, is going to take the win here in Turku in Finland. It's going to be another swift time, 144.4 for Benjamin Robert. That really was about just trying to win the race, Robert. He got his fast time on Friday night. And that world record, the remarkable time set by Lemetra Germer, still awaiting full ratification, of course. Bebendorf closing very strongly on Blomberg. Kenboy in fifth position. But one barrier left between Abraham Sime and another victory at the Pablo Nurmi Games for the second time. Blomberg has got himself back into second position ahead of Bebendorf. The victory, though, is taken by Abraham Sime. 8.17.45, just outside his own meeting record. Four events to conclude. Wilma Murto out here on their own women's pole vault, that men's javelin, two sprint hurdle finals. The bar now at 4.75. That's a second time clearance for Wilma Murto. She has obliterated her season's best here this evening. That's 14 centimetres higher than she managed in Paris on Friday night. Jamal Britt of the United States gets lane five. He was the fastest qualifier with 13.38 earlier. Good start from Rodriguez. Rodriguez, Britt and Pereira in the middle. Pereira just starting to edge himself ahead of Jamal Britt, but it's a similar to the heat before. Jamal Britt just turning on the heat over the final couple of hurdles. It was a big hit from uh, Rodriguez. Jamal Britt flew through. Ended up with the win, 13-32. He had a good women's 800 metres early on as well. Anita Horvat of Slovenia, only a personal best, 158.73. We could see a swift final lap here in Turku, just outside three minutes through the belt. Federica Del Buono moving herself off the curb very handily, but here comes Adele Tracy, Jamaica, just struggling to get past Del Buono. Sabatini is close. Sarah Healy's kicked. Has she saved a tiny bit for the last 100 metres? Ellie Baker is right on her heels. Del Tracy trying to rally. She looks like she might be out of gas here today in Turkey, but never write Adele Tracy off. Sabatini of Italy finishing strongly as Sarah Healy got a left, got enough left. She's grimacing. Sarah Healy just on that lane one. Can Sarah Healy of Ireland hold off Sabatini? She does. 403.84. It's not a world qualifying mark, but it's a very canny win from Sarah Healy.
They've done away with the non-automatic time qualifiers for the World Championships, and it's performances like that from Sarah Healy and Sabatini and Ellie Baker. That's what's going to get you into a semi-final and into a final. Provence Charleston of the USA, ranked number eight in the year in the world this year with that 991. Away well was Charleston. Prescott has got a meter or so to find on him. It's Caron Charleston. Prescott has got plenty of work to do here. Charleston, 996. He was best out of the blocks. Nobody got near him. Fantastic performance from Caron Charleston, 995. He takes the meeting record. He's the first man at the long-standing Pablo Nomi Games ever to go sub 10 seconds, and he won it by miles from Prescott and Larson. Women's high jump, Nikola Olislagas, third attempt at two metres one to go joint world leader with Yaroslava Mahuchik. And she's done it. The slightest wobble for the bar, but Nikola Olislagas, the Australian, joins Mahuchik at the top of the 2023 world list with two metres and one centimetre. Ben Chiavlin back to Jakob Vadlec, who launched it out effortlessly to almost 87 metres in the first round. Round two. Oh, that looks even better from Jakob Vadlec this time. The Olympic and European silver medalist. Well, he is not, not worried about easing himself into this competition. He's thrown absolutely everything at it. The powerful shoulder, the speed of release. 89.51 for Jakob Vadlec, and that is a world-leading mark. Jesse Knight of Great Britain goes in lane seven, fresh off a new personal best over the flat 400 in Geneva this weekend. Conservative start, perhaps there from Laken in. Cassandra Tate of the United States looking strong in this 100 meters. As the stagger unwinds, Cassandra Tate just has the advantage over Vivi Laken in. Jesse Knight right up there as well. Two herders left to go. It's going to be a tight battle. Laken in driving those arms hard. Safely navigating the last flight. Jesse Knight fresh off that 400 meter personal best. Strong in the closing stages, 54-33. As a significant season's best for Jesse Knight. Well, Jesse Knight went out strongly, didn't she? And uh, you wondered if, as you said in the race, whether she had paced it as well as some of the others inside her. But to be fair, terrific strength over the, uh, the last 50 metres or so as the challenges threatened to come. It's Daniel Stoll, the reigning Olympic champion. And that looks like it could be a very good effort in round five from Daniel Stoll. Christian Che has been in the driving seat at 68 metres, 67 in the opening round. A little bit of a jig from Daniel Stoll. That takes some effort. He's a big man and he enjoyed that. Just easing his way into the competition. 70 metres, 38 in round five. That gives him a pretty comfortable lead ahead of that man, Christian Che. Christian Che up next, he did have the lead for four rounds of 68-67 and he's got one last chance to respond to 70 metres and 38 from Daniel Stahl. It clips the netting, he walks out the front. A foul for Christian Che. Certainly enjoyed it, isn't he? They are some swift moves for, as you say, a big man as well. Loving life, notable scalp, as you say, psychological advantage, victory over Christian Che. 